Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be answering a burning question to some of the modelers that are out there. How do we export successfully from ADS to Blender, mainly FPX? So let's jump straight, jump straight into it. I'll open a file of my preference. Let's say this Enzo. So here we have a car that's been modeled using NURB surfaces. And let's get this exported as an FBX. So we will be looking at the options that we have. So let's take all the surfaces and go to File, Export Active As. And then we go into FBX options. I export the shaders with it for this exercise. I'll leave the file as binary. Let's take from 2016 upwards. So let's take FBX 2020, the Z axis up. And then we'll click here on Tessellate. Bring the tolerances as low as you can get and the tessellator i'm going to use an accurate one so let's click on save and desktop and let's call it test one here we have our data i can still see the patch layout that we have used to model this Let's turn that on and we'll see if that's pretty seamlessly generated. Of course, we have a few errors here in the shading, but that's not the point in this exercise. And let's see with the sky shader, the sky texture. And we see that quality is pretty decent, except for this badly trimmed area. Okay. We're exporting here. Okay, let's get rid of this one. And we'll jump back into our Enzo. Take the same surfaces, maybe the car. And now let's export it. Also as an FBX. So I'll leave it at the same file version, X and Z axis up, and then We'll go to the fast test later and let's give it some tolerance. Let's see, 0.5. Click on save. We'll call it test 2. Save this up. And let's check the file. Let's show you this. You can see that it's got more jagged areas. Compared to the other one. All in all, it's pretty smooth. But you see the quality is already impacted in these areas, and that's something we will be seeing down the pipeline. Also here, we can notice how those lines are, let's say, blockier. It's not a continuous curve. Let's open up test one. Motion in that same shader, we will be able to see this is even better.
So there you have it. See here, far better quality on how the whole model was rebuilt or let's say tessellated, got nicer smoother smoother running lines, less of those artifacts. So if you want to export high quality data from ADIS to Blender as an FPX, use the accurate tessellator and use tolerance is uh, zero. So that is for the lower quality and if you want to go high quality use accurate bring the tolerance down to zero and that's how you save it and you'll get a really good result. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in another video.